I graduated from college last month, and in this video, I'm going to be talking through all the classes I took and my experience in general. Spring 2021, first semester of freshman year, and honestly pretty forgettable. It was still online, so I was taking classes back in Singapore, but I was interning part-time at a startup called Homage, and honestly, that was a pretty fun environment. My manager at the end actually offered me a full-time job if I dropped out of USC right then and there. Maybe I should have took it. But anyway, I actually applied as an economics major at first. So this first semester was me transferring to CS and taking all the prerequisite classes. And since it was online, I had the choice to take classes pass no pass, which of course I chose to do. I took CS 103, your standard intro to programming class in C++, Calculus 2, which honestly you could just do a community college, and the infamous CS 170, discrete methods in CS. Now I stressed about this class like crazy. It was heavily focused on proofs, whether you do them by induction, contraposition, contradiction, whatever. And honestly, I was not getting the material. I remember for the final exam, I needed maybe a 30% to pass the class. And I was stressing. I really thought I could not even hit that th last 30%. And I think I barely scraped by. And the last class I took this semester was a general education seminar, where we basically just read a bunch of Ted Chiang's short stories and discussed the ethical implications as a group. Honestly, Ted Chiang's probably my favorite writer now, so I quite enjoyed it. Right afterwards, for the summer, I interned at a Series A fintech startup called Wallex, and I actually interviewed the founder a year later after they got acquired. Okay, sophomore year, finally back on campus. First, I took RIT 150, a standard writing requirement. I think I wrote a few essays about AI and its possible implications. I took an arts requirement called Intro to Cinema, and we essentially just watched films like In the Mood for Love, Parasite, Singing in the Rain, and just discussed them every week. Yeah, and it kind of kickstarted my love for cinema and my letterbox addiction. I also took ITP 216, an applied Python class. At first, it was just for myself to get more familiar with the language for coding interviews, but I ended up really vibing with the professor. I took him out for a hike as part of a student hiking club, and I got to be one of his TAs for the rest of my time at USC. And for the real challenges this semester, CS 104 and EE 109. Now EE 109 was honestly straightforward enough. The labs were mostly just Arduino related stuff, trying to make a light bulb turn on. And the theory was a lot to do with different number systems like bit to binary, state machines, and different circuit design. Honestly, this was the only hardware class I took and it confirmed to me that I would not be a hardware related guy. Now for CS 104, and like any good data structures course, we learn all about heaps, stacks, hash maps, sets, etc. It was basically us implementing the data structures themselves in C++ without being able to use the libraries. I remember struggling for almost every programming assignment. So I'd always be at office hours, trying to get the TAs help in whatever way I could. But there was one program assignment due right before Thanksgiving, so there were no more office hours and I was completely stuck. Luckily, one of my good friends was free, shout out Sung Hyun, and he literally sat me for like six hours and made sure I got the concepts and finally got all my test cases to work. And I barely passed the final two. So without him, I don't think I would have passed the class. So thanks, man. So that brings us to spring 2022, and honestly, I wish I could erase this semester from my head. I took Calculus 3, got like 20% on the first midterm, so I had to drop the class. I also didn't pass CS 270, which was the more cracked version of the class I struggled with last year. And I barely passed Physics 1, which was basically just a repeat of the same stuff you learned in high school physics about Newton's three laws. Even with all this, I still thought to take a ballroom dance class for some reason. And I got carried in CS201 by my another good friend, Colin Ho. This is basically a Java Spring Boot class, which I've not touched since then, so that shows how much I've retained. So yeah, I really flopped this semester. And there isn't even a good reason for it too, so uh, let's just move on. That summer, I did a software engineering internship in New York City, which I actually made a video about. And I also retook and passed Calculus 3. So coming back into junior with a little bit of momentum, I guess. Okay, fall 22, retook CS270, Introduction to Algorithms and Theory of Computing, which was all to do with concepts such as greedy, divide and conquer, dynamic programming, max flow min cut, and the dreaded NP complete NP hard. A highlight for this class was creating a cheat sheet as they allowed double-sided anything. So before every midterm and final, me and a friend would spend maybe three hours squeezing every bit of information we could into our cheat sheets. But hey, I guess this time actually paying attention, it wasn't so bad. Then I took a general education linguistics class, which was talking about history of different languages and how language plays a big part in the way we think. For example, in Indonesian, there's no word for parental love. It's only romantic love. So the concept is a little bit less intuitive than other languages, which I guess growing up, I kind of understood but never really connected the dots. Took Introduction to Psychology, where we explore different cognitive biases in the labs, such as loss aversion, confirmation bias, and framing. But honestly, the lectures I don't remember. I took two more CS classes, 356 and 310. And computer systems was honestly pretty tough for me. It was a lot to do with the lower level assembly code, understanding how cache works, RAM works, knowing when there's a cache miss or a cache hit, and I barely scraped through. Software engineering was another one of those mundane group project, build out a full stack app. Honestly, didn't really enjoy it either. I will note that this semester, I actually joined a student's club called Lava Lab, which was basically like a student startup incubator. 
And it was actually the club that my two friends, Samhyun and Colin were in. So just a bunch of really cracked people inside. And I think I learned more from that one semester process of ideating, choosing a tech stack, and building out an MVP versus any of the software engineering classes that I've took so far, which is kind of sad, I think. But uh, well, let's move on. Spring 2023, I took an elective cinema class, motion picture script analysis, and we basically just analyzed the structure of different movies. And something that still sticks with me is the concept of the hero's journey, where in every good story, the hero has to go through an ordeal before they can come back as, you know, a hero. So maybe life is like that. I took CS353, Introduction to Networking, and got a C minus. But honestly, I kind of gamed this class. The great boundaries for this were kind of weird, where the exams made up like 55%, and you only needed maybe 45% to pass the class. Meanwhile, the programming assignments could take 20 plus hours each, with there being pages of pages of requirements to fill out. And since the actual core content wasn't that hard, I mean, it's basically just how the internet works, how does a client and server talk to another, what are different protocols of transferring information such as TCP, I took that risk and still passed, so I'm okay with that decision. Also took CS350, which was operating systems. I guess the PAs were pretty confusing, having to try to write kernel threads in C with different different files, not really sure what's doing what. But honestly, our TA did a good job of the documentation, and I got pretty lucky to partner again with my good friend Colin. And I took physics too, electricity and magnetism. Honestly, didn't enjoy this class at all. Just a lot of route memorization of past papers until I knew how to add up my voltages and amps. And lastly, took a fun Japanese literature general education. The highlight for this class was watching The Tale of Princess Kaguya because I binged every Ghibli movie after that. And that brings us to the summer where I interned in Goldman Sachs in Salt Lake City which I actually didn't make a video about, which I'm kind of disappointed. I also took linear algebra, which I thankfully passed. Now we go into senior year, fall 2023. And honestly, I think the senior writers really got to me. First, I took ITP 470, which was really weird because it's meant to be like a higher level blockchain class, but the instructor couldn't come for over half the semester. They got like an assistant prof, but by then it was only six weeks left. So all I did for this class was code up a simple project where it hooks up to OpenAI, you type in a prompt, you get a picture, and you mint it as an NFT. Took an archaeology general education requirement, and I honestly can't remember anything about this class. Now I took ITP 380, video game programming, and D+, and I was honestly devastated because this was honestly one of my favorite CS classes ever. Basically, every week, we would code up a video game in increasing complexity. So I started with Pong, then go to Frogger, Mario, then Zelda. But the grading system was set up such that if you have a certain score for the midterm, it sort of caps your grade. There one programming midterm that I just bombed. It was probably the worst live coding performance I ever had, and that completely tanked my grade. Lastly, I took CS360, Introduction to AI. It was mostly just trying to understand different classification regression problems, how decision trees work, how A-star search work rather than getting to implement our own AI. Lastly, Spring 2024. So first I took CS401 Capstone. Basically, there's a large list of different projects and you and your group of work with one of the stakeholders. Somehow me and my group got a blockchain research project that I wrote less than 100 lines of code for for the whole semester, but that was pretty good. Then I took Math 407 Probability Theory, which is actually one of the most useful classes that I took with a lot of real world applications. I took RIT 340, another writing class requirement, I just wrote about my aura ring and how I'm obsessed with sleep tracking. And lastly, ITP368, class platform app development, where we just learned Flutter and built out a simple project at the end. That's my entire degree in how many minutes this video is. Was it all worth it? Honestly, sitting here reflecting after going through this video, maybe I should have took my manager's offer back in Singapore in freshman year. But in all honesty, I think you give what you give out. Definitely, if I were solely relying on classes and class projects to give me my knowledge and passion for CS, I wouldn't go anywhere. But yeah, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Fight on.